Welcome to Science at Our School. My name is Miss Harris Gummer and I'm the subject leader for science. I'm really excited to talk to you today about what the science department offers students at our school. What do we aim for in our curriculum? Well, pupils in science are taught by our highly qualified subject specialists through using stimulating lesson materials that facilitate the acquisition of fundamental scientific knowledge, the application of theory in different contexts, and the development of laboratory practical skills. By teaching in this way, we're ensuring that our students become motivated, independent and resilient learners. Our Key Stage 4 results from Summer 2021 reflect the ambitions that we have for our students. 99% of all science exams were awarded grades 9 to 4. 71% of all science exams were awarded grades 9 to 7. And a total of 119 grade 9s were awarded across all of the sciences. This was a fantastic set of results for our students and can be attributed to the hard work which both they and the department put into their exam preparations. What do our students study? I'm going to talk to you a little bit about our curriculum in the science department now. Our Key Stage 3 students are in Year 7 and 8 and they study a bespoke curriculum which is based on the national curriculum. And it aims to help students develop their investigative skills and a thirst for knowledge. Students will study a range of topics across all the three sciences. For example, in biology, students study DNA and how it was discovered and may even extract DNA from fruit themselves. In physics, they'll study space and the theories of the universe. And in chemistry, they'll start to look at investigating the composition of compounds using techniques such as flame tests. After Key Stage 3, our students will move on to Key Stage 4. And they are accelerated onto the Key Stage 4 courses from Year 9 onwards. So our Key Stage 4 students are in Year 9, 10 and 11. Students will follow either the Edexcel GCSE 9 to 1 combined science course or the Edexcel GCSE 9 to 1 separate science course in biology, chemistry and physics. Skills that students learn in Key Stage 3 help build the foundation for success at the Key Stage 4 level. And finally, I'd like to talk to you about some of the extracurricular activities which students can take part in across the science department. At the Key Stage 3 level, Students can take part in research projects, which they complete every half term. Examples include creating their own scientific models of the atom or researching famous scientists. We also run a science club, which allows students to further develop their practical skills and investigate more complex scientific ideas. For example, students in previous years have built their own rockets. Students also work closely with the Linnaean Society to develop entries for the annual Biomedia Meltdown competition. Pupils are able to participate in workshops run by the society, which aims to bring natural history to life and raise awareness of current issues facing the scientific community. Another competition that our students can take part in is the Step Into the NHS competition, which helps them to develop their knowledge of careers in the NHS. Our students have been very successful in this competition in previous years, with one of our students in the top 10 nationally and also winning their region. At the Key Stage 4 level, students can be involved in the Brilliant Club, which is an external provider, and can opt to complete science-related projects and use the expertise of their science teachers to support their independent research. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this presentation, and I hope to see many of you next year.